turn up, get focused. Blow out the candles. What did I just say? <laughs> You'll see. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back at you again with another reaction video. And uh, today, uh, we're gonna do something a little different today, you know? Now, I don't mean to tell on myself, you know, in some ways, I'm kind of a softy, you know what I mean? I like to uh, do nice things sometimes for people, you know what I mean? And uh, it's very few and far in between, but it does happen. And today is one of those times. So we're gonna get into a little bit of, um, a little bit of, uh, how do I say this? Not really a tribute video, this person isn't dead, but I'll just say uh, a birthday wish. It's kind of like a, kind of like the Make-A-Wish Foundation, except this guy isn't gonna die, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be a big shout out and a big happy B-Day to uh, one of my uh, very loyal subscribers, man. And um, hopefully I don't butcher your name, man, and hopefully I get this right, but uh, happy B-Day to uh, Jim Tatro or Tatro or something like that. Hopefully I pronounced that right. If I didn't, man, then uh, hopefully this uh, video I'm about to react to today makes you feel at least better about me screwing up your name. But yeah, we're gonna get into uh, a new guy, someone I haven't even heard of or even watched before in my life. So, uh, what's his name? Robert Schimmel. Yes. So uh, I've never heard of this guy ever and I've never seen anything of him at all. So this is gonna be new for me and uh, had to do it because my boy Jim said that uh, Tuesday, meaning today, was uh, his birthday. And uh, I was like, uh, he pulled the birthday card on me. He appealed to the softy in me, so now I gotta do it, man. So yeah, uh, we're gonna get to Robert Schimmel, like I said, and this one is at Dangerfields in 1988. Damn, I was three years old when this happened, man. Damn, I'm getting old, man. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what this is gonna be about. Uh, everybody uh, knows Rodney Dangerfield. Everyone knows he's funny as hell. But you know, um, he has this thing going on here, bringing out all these other good comics. And uh, yes, let's get into it. So yeah, one more time. Robert Schimmel at Dangerfield, 1988. And if you like this reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe, dear boy. Keep everything going. Yes. So let's get right on into it, man. Happy B-Day one more time, Jim. Hope you enjoy this reaction that I'm about to do here. And uh, for future reference, if anybody has any uh, birthdays coming up that want some specific right off the top uh, request that I could do in a, in a timely fashion, uh, you can give them to me, you know, just make sure you have some evidence, man, because I don't even know if it's Jim's be there or not, but I trust him because I don't think he'd be a sucker like that, you know? And plus he picked Tuesday instead of right away Monday. So maybe he's a little slick, I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So happy B-Day, Jim, one more time. Let's get into this Robert Schimmel at Dangerfields, 1988, right here on Eddie B TV. All right. Here's a guy, I don't know where he's from, and I don't care. <laughs> he really okay. makes me laugh, all right? Give it up for Robert Schimmel, okay? Robert, here we are. I forgot his name, I thought it might be Schimmel or something. I was right. Hopefully I'm two for two with names. <laughs> I was reading in the paper today that somebody got arrested for animal necrophilia. How do you plead when you go to court for something like that? Gee, Your Honor, I thought the cat was still alive when I was fucking him. <laughs> Nah, it's not really right to fuck your pets. No. I think it breaks their will or something, you know? And then, and then they never listen to you again. Come here, boy, come here, come here. Oh, what do you want to fuck me again? <laughs> Dude, fuck the cat, leave me alone, okay? I don't want it. Don't yeah. fuck me, I just got a dog. I ain't fucking him, though. <laughs> Dogs are great pets, they can be embarrassing. What do you say when your friends come to visit and your dog starts humping their leg? Well, if it's a pit bull, you say you better let him finish. <laughs> Yeah, so I take my wife to a marriage counselor. He fucked her. Oh, no. He said, what you gotta do is take your wife to one of these adult toy stores, buy some marital aids, and go home and experiment with them. Explore each other's bodies. It'll help broaden your sex life. She came home with a vibrator that takes like 20 D-cell batteries. <laughs> this isn't exploring, it's like offshore drilling. Oh. It jump starts your car with this thing. And it says in the box, just like the real thing. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, every dick goes... <laughs> yeah, I think all those years, I thought my mom and dad are making margaritas in the bedroom. <laughs> Hook me up with one. 
Jeez. How do women buy these things? It must be so weird. They always have them in those boxes with the picture of the girl on it, holding it up against their face, and it says, and it relieves tension. Somehow I can't see somebody going, you know, honey, my neck's really killing me. Where's that rubber dicky guy? Can I use that? No. You know, we know what these things are for. They try and make it look like they're for medicinal purposes. They're not using these in the emergency room. Doctor, his heart stops. Stand clear. <laughs> No vibrators, please. They do sell a lot of weird things in these stores. They have this stuff called Mr. Big Cream. It says rub it on your dick and your dick gets bigger. Hey, great. Wouldn't your hands get bigger too? <laughs> People try a lot of weird stuff. You know, I went out with a girl once. She said, you want to have the most unbelievable orgasm in the world? No. She said, I'm going to stick a knotted rag up your ass. I said, no, you're not. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> she said, no, look, look, I'm going to stick it up there, see? And just when you're ready to come, I'm going to yank it out, and it's going to be like the 4th of July. Well, I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to my ass, I don't like the word yank right off the bat. <laughs> yeah. She said, you know, honey, I don't want to rag up my ass. She said, how about a string of beads? Said, what are you, Monty Hall? This isn't Let's Make a Deal, dude. <laughs> But I figure you only go around this crazy old world once, so what the fuck? Yeah, so I'm at the hospital getting the beads removed. No, Robert, no. The doctor uh, pulled the string and I came like a wildcat. Just start explaining how they got up there. Gee, you're never gonna believe this. I, I, I was on a stepladder putting a bulb in and I slipped and fell and they went right up there. No! Jeez. I hate going to the doctor. I just went for a complete physical. I'm in there undressed. The doctor comes in. He said, you know, your left testicle feels funny. I said, shit, then leave it alone. Yeah. Feels funny for me that you're holding it so long. And who grows up to want to be a proctologist? What kind of goal is this in life? I had to get a thing called a sigmoidoscopy. They take something like this long and they stick it up your ass just to look around. Oh, no way. He said, for what, a parking space? <laughs> no parking. He said, look, I got a better idea. Why don't you tell me what you're looking for? I'll tell you where it is and we don't have to use this. <laughs> he said, we're looking for blood in your stool. I said, well, you know, I never went to med school, but if you use this, I can make a prediction right now. <laughs> The guy tells me to lay down. He starts feeding it in. He said, you might feel a little pressure. I said, yeah, on the roof of my mouth. Get it out. <laughs> Why are hemorrhoids called hemorrhoids and asteroids called asteroids? Wouldn't it make more sense if it was the other way around? <laughs> yeah. If that was true, you wouldn't be a proctologist. You'd be an astronaut. <laughs> Why do people say excuse me after they fart? Wouldn't it be better if they said look out before they did it? <laughs> it's such an embarrassing thing. I had to go to the hospital. I thought I was having an appendicitis attack. I'm in the emergency room. The doctor comes in. He said, I'm going to push on your stomach. You tell me when it hurts the most. And he pushed on this one spot and this gas came out and the pain went away. <laughs> and it cost 75 bucks to fart in the emergency room. <laughs> oh. and the sick thing is you can put it on your, on your visa card and make monthly installments on it. Then you want to charge something at the store and they go, sorry, that's been declined. You still owe $25 on it. Did you fart in the emergency room? <laughs> oh, that would suck. <laughs> How do blind people know when they're done wiping their ass? Honey, could you come here for a minute? I need you to proofread something for me. Oh, <laughs> proofread. <laughs> yeah, my wife wanted to get a cat for a pet. I like dogs. They're a lot more fun. You can play frisbee with a dog. You go jogging with them. She said, cats are better than dogs. Because when a dog has to go to the bathroom at 3 in the morning, they wake you up. You got to get up. You got to let the dog out. Wait till he's done. Let him back in. Go back to sleep. Cats, they never bother anybody. They have their own little box. Cats are so intelligent, you could actually teach them to go on the toilet. 
Great, and then when you have to go, the cat's in there. How long are you gonna be, huh? Fuck it, where's the box? <laughs> then you use the box and your friends come over and go... What, do you get a mountain lion for a pet here? What the fuck is this? Yeah, these ads all over for phone sex all the place. They have this dial a suck or whatever it is, you know, this phone sex. Whoever invented this deserves every penny they make. Anybody that can get you to pay them to let you jack off on the phone is a fucking genius. I can never do it, because I'm afraid it's gonna be like, okay, you got your dick out? Yeah. You jacking off? Yeah. Your mom wants to talk to you. <laughs> You guys have been a great crowd. Thank you very much. Oh, Good night. That's it. All right. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what is wrong with these guys? Oh. Okay. Let's catch my breath on that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Jim. <laughs> Big ups, man. That was. That was funny as hell, man. Okay, that was Robert Schimmel at Dangerfields, 1988. Oh my goodness, you know what? I have a lot of reevaluating to do because one thing for sure is that I heard maybe a couple of movie references uh, in his jokes and a couple of other um, jokes that uh, I've kind of heard other comedians go in on a little bit. I recognized them immediately. Uh, the one where he was talking about proctology, Richard Jenny had a joke like that in his uh, in his, one of his specials, man. And he was just talking about I don't remember exactly what the bit was, but it was funny. And wiping your ass if you're blind. <laughs> Jim Jeffries had a joke kind of like that too. It was a little bit uh, it was set up a little differently, but it was still funny. And. Uh, Oh my goodness, man, this dude was funny, man. Like, I've never heard of him, you know? There's a lot of comedians I've never heard of that I probably definitely gotta get to. Uh, but this one was good, man. Robert Schimmel. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, <clears throat> so much to unpack, but you know, I mean, I'll just pick a few things to unpack, you know? It's just like, um, <sighs> there's not really uh, much to go off of you know, when it comes to anything that has to do with uh, sex and your marriage and all that stuff, you know, it's just, it's a hit or miss with that one, man. Right? It's not always going to be fun, you know what I mean? And people say, like, you know, get some toys at the adult store and then, oh, it'll spice things up. And I'm like, nah, it won't. <laughs> it'll be awkward. It'll be weird. It'll be a story that you guys laugh about in about five years or something like that. But man, I just like vibrators, man. That has to be one of the funniest things that has ever been invented by anyone. And that's real, you know what I mean? Granted, there's a lot of uh, dudes out there that got weird things to choose from as well. I do not dabble, I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody uh, once bought me, and I'm not gonna say who because I don't like this person anymore at all. But somebody once when I was um, a little bit younger, a little over a decade ago, bought me one of them little flashlight badges, you know what I mean? I was just sitting there like, what am I supposed to do with this thing, man? <laughs> Hell no, I ain't using this. I tried to use it. <laughs> it was stupid and awkward and didn't make any sense. And I threw it away uh, the next day, man. Swear to God, I did. <laughs> but this dude, man, gosh. I like how he sets up his jokes, you know what I mean? Like on one side, he seems like it's like very routine. Like you can tell he's uh, practiced it and then he just says it. But then on another side, you know, the way it comes out, you know what I mean? It always, it always just seems like it's just so natural, you know? And uh, it's kind of like, he's kind of got it's like a, a New York feel to him. I don't know if he's from New York or not, but I'm guessing he is based on how he's talking, man, because he's got that kind of yeah, unique New York style sound to him, you know? If I'm wrong about that, let me know, because I didn't look anything up with this guy before I did it. My man Jim, man, just uh, requested it for his birthday, and now here I am doing it. So, yeah, if uh, you guys know anything about this guy, leave something in the comments for me, and if there's any other clips of him that are just as funny as this one, if not more, <clears throat> leave them in the comments for me as well. So, yeah, man, that's all I'm gonna pack with that one, man. I swear, like, or one more thing, do not fuck your pets, man. That is brutal, you know what I mean? I'm not judging anybody who does bestiality or nothing like that, man. But, you know, if you're going to do it, don't let it be a domesticated house animal. Please don't do that, you know? Because that's just wrong, you know? <laughs>
it's an awkward way to live in your house, you know? You gotta look at your woman one day, she don't know what's going on, and the dog's looking at you like, I'm gonna tell her. <laughs> I swear that was funny. Okay. <laughs> Jim, thanks a lot for requesting this one, man. You know, it was uh, out of the blue on me and I was short notice, but as you can see, I'm sitting here laughing my ass off because that was hilarious as shit, man. So yeah, <laughs> one more time. Robert Schimmel at Dangerfield, 1998. And if you like that reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Keep everything going, like I always say. So yeah, man, one more time. Happy B day to my man, Jim. You know, I'm not gonna try to say your last name again because I'm, I'm just hoping that I'm not pronouncing it wrong because I hate when I do that. I always like to uh, <clears throat> get names right. Uh, one of my other subscribers, uh, Miss Linda, if you're out there watching this, man, I don't know how to pronounce your last name either. That's why I keep saying Miss Linda because I just don't want to mess it up, man. You know, I just, one thing about uh, me is, is that messing up names is kind of a big deal for me, you know? because I always I always was good at spelling and pronunciation and reading and all that when I was a kid and all that, but now there's some names that I come across I've never heard of, and I'm like, ugh, don't try, don't try. Okay, try. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is going to be ADB TV signing off one more again here. My man Jim, man, I hope you enjoyed your birthday reaction here, man, because I sure as hell enjoyed it, man. This dude was hella funny. And uh, yeah, like I said, if any more uh, good clips of them are out there, give them to me, man. Hopefully I can get to them in a good time, you know, like I always say too. So yeah, one more game here, signing off. Love and appreciate y'all. Peace. <laughs>